My name is Joseph Bata Sengova. I was born and raised in this country, Uganda. I love it here. This is my home. Uganda is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. My country has been given a lot of beautiful names that define her truly. From being called the power of Africa to being gifted by nature, which I truly believe to be very true. I am proud of my country. Although Uganda is one of the African countries that has registered highest numbers of poverty reduction, my country remains one of the poorest countries in the world. Growing up to become the kind of man I am today has not been an easy journey. I lost my parents at a very tender age, and I have witnessed firsthand the challenges that are brought about by being an orphan at a very tender age. Poverty and hardships are spoken of my country every day. It is a survival battle for many people in my country. It is very hard to make ends meet. The young and old suffer every day to feed their families, educate their kids, or even find something to put on. This is a challenge and something needs to be done. Because of the many hardships that I faced as a young man growing up, I knew that I wanted to do something that would give back to the communities that raised me to become the kind of man that I am today. I founded the organization called JB Caring Hearts International, whose mission is to provide lasting positive change to the lives of challenged potential in school-going children and youth that are at risk of missing education as a basic need in Africa. I trust that through the works of JB Caring Hearts International, many young people, including orphans, and women who are our main area of focus will continue to have a life that is a little better than what they are having today. When COVID-19 hit the world, I knew for a fact that our works and services were highly needed at this time. Many systems changed, schools were closed, businesses were closed, and the children that I dearly love were forced to stay home. Children that we dearly love were not able to attend school or continue operating in the normal ways that they used to. At the beginning of July this year, I knew enough was enough. I wanted to do something that will continue helping young people continue learning in the lockdown that they were having. We officially opened our very first youth empowerment center to provide a safe space for young people to continue learning and learn profitable skills that will enable them to be productive during this lockdown. Every day, our youth center opens at 9 a.m. and closes at 5 p.m. Young people between the ages of 14 to 24 come to the center ready to learn, ready to have fun, and ready to relax from the challenges that the world is facing right now. I have been at the youth center from the day it opened. This place has been more than a safe home for me and my siblings. We move for almost an hour to get here, but we have never missed a day. This is because we love here, we are learning, and most importantly, we are loved. May the Almighty High bless the JB Karen Hearts, the village book builders, and grant you a place in heaven. You have loved us and you have treated us well. You have kept us away from a lot of dangers. If not for your support, we would be home doing completely nothing. Thank you. The JB Caring Heart Center is more like a community school. It gathers people from different walks of life. Me and my fellow friends, we have different talents and interests, but there is a way the center unites us as one family. When we arrive in the morning, we attend a three-hour session on life skills. Then we go for lunch, and in the afternoon, we attend to our practical skills lessons. Me, I personally do photography and videography, but my fellow peers do tailoring, carpentry, basic computer, and makeup with hairdressing. This place truly changes lives. I have been coming at the youth center from the very first time it opened up. And I would like to thank JB Caring Hearts for the provision of lunch 
it has provided unto us. This has enabled us to stay at the youth center with no struggle for anything concerning food. Like as in for instance, they provide for us some porridge and rice. This keeps us satisfied and not angry at the center. And I would like to thank him so much for keeping us at the center because this has kept us away from troubles and problems that we would meet or we would have met at our respective homes. As you and me know that an idle mind is the divorce workshop. So at the center, we get work to do than being idle. Thank you so much. I was fortunate to be joined by village book builders who provided the mentoring program that enhances development and continues to teach young people through the use of technology. My name is Akol David and I'm 18 years and I'm standing right at the JB Caring Arts Center and these are the computers we have due, which we use during our mentoring program and we have one, two, three, four computers and these charts represent uh, the computers we use during our mentoring programs uh, this is the first computer, the second one, the third and the fourth. Uh, I personally Skype on Thursday at 2 p.m. And my name is right here. Um, I call David and my mentor is Hannah Wong. And these spaces, I kindly invite all other people uh, to come and join the mentoring program and fill up all that gaps missing. Uh, my mentor is Hannah Wang, she stays in the US and she has taught me a lot of things, for example, I've learned mathematics, uh, also some science and it has helped me very well to improve on my academics since I was at home doing nothing, but at least now I can do revision with her, she leaves work for me on my email and I'm very grateful for the mentoring program. Uh, special thanks to the Village Book Builders for this mentoring program. Village Book Builders is an amazing organization that is passionate about education and the continuity of education at all costs. They build hope through books and libraries that ensure children have a safe space dedicated to community learning. They build change through technology used to enhance learning that is designed to meet the needs of each village. They build connection through humanitarian adventures and mentoring programs that bring volunteers and village children together. Their mission is to empower villages around the world to end the cycle of poverty through education. Education plays a big role in developing a community and building a library is just one step ahead of great learning. Hello, my name is Nakalema Praise and I'm 18 years of age. My mentor is called David Kim. He's 19. He's at the university. He's also 19 years of age. He comes from the US in a state called Indiana. He wants to become a doctor, so he's doing medicine. And I also want to become a doctor in future. So he helps me with chemistry, biology, and math. I want to thank the village book builders for the great opportunity given to me and the rest so we can talk to our mentors and have lessons. Asante sana. Thank you. Village book builders mentoring program has been an amazing opportunity for many Ugandan children that have been forced to stay home because of COVID-19. The program has offered them with continuity to continue learning from experts and wonderful people that have not only acted as mentors but teachers and positive role models in their lives. The list of benefits for the mentoring program in Uganda is endless. I am grateful for the partnership from Village Book Builders and I trust in their vision. I believe in libraries, I believe in technology and I trust that with their support, we'll continue empowering young people in changing lives together.